How you guys? It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you again with just my quick little Walmart thing. I'm telling you guys, these Walmart employees be tripping me out. Um, they don't say anything, but they act like they are so scared of coupons. I'm, I'm, I'm almost believing that someone has scared the living devil out of them about taking coupons. I'm, I don't know what went on at Walmart or what's happening with Walmart and I'm sure the manufacturer is giving them their money for their coupons, but and maybe it's because their overage policy that they're getting on these people about overage or money. But she didn't say anything. But my total came up to seventeen dollars. Yeah, it came up to seventeen dollars and um, twenty-four cents. Seventeen dollars twenty-four cents. So I handed her my two coupons because I only could find two of the brush heads. Okay. So, um, and she just looked at it like she was scared. And I'm just looking at her like, are you going to scan the coupon? Are you going to say something? Are you going to review it so I can tell you that your coupon policy says I can't get over it? But she didn't say anything. Then she took it and she scanned it. And when it accepted it and it went through, she scanned the other one. But she just was like, she was in shock through the whole transaction. <laughs> I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Just get, you know, see, that's why I don't try to do like some people do and get money back and all of that. I don't because I, I, I just don't feel like the struggle or the fight. I know how they do about even trying to accept a coupon. And even if it's not giving overage back, they read those coupons like with a fine tooth comb. I'm like, I don't know what's going on at Walmart, but one girl I went to one time before, she was like, they told us to, um, to really check these coupons to make sure they're right and they got to match up to the right item which i had the right item so i let her go ahead on but then she called a customer service rep to come and look at it and it was the coupon y'all remember that zero tech coupon we had got for seven dollars i think walmart had them for like five and some change that time the that one yeah that one mm-hmm and then they were looking at it, and this customer service manager came over looking at it. It was ridiculous. But anyway, you guys, I got two of the Orb b toothbrushes. Then I got a tote box um, for my um, pastor son. Y'all know I told y'all I was giving him a care package when he went off, and he's doing early college. He just graduated high school with honors, National Honor Society. I'm proud of him. Proud of him. Real smart little boy. And um, so I'm going to give out of my stockpile so that they don't have to supply like all the personal stuff, cleaning stuff, none of that. All that's coming out of my stockpile. They don't have to worry about sending him with toilet paper, paper towels, none of that. I'm giving him all of that. So I wanted to get a tote and I wanted a bigger tote, but then I thought he's going to be in a dorm room. Don't know how big it is. So I got one of the medium sized totes. I guess it would be medium sized. The ones that Walmart has for $4.47. So I got that. And this is my receipt. So I wound up paying, um, my subtotal came to two eleven dollars because, you know, I had like $2. One of those brushes is $5.97 and one is $5.67. I don't know. I think the soft is ringing up $5.67. Um, yeah. But anyway, so I had like a dollar and what's that? $0.33 cents for that one and a dollar and three cents. So I had um, $2.36 and um, 36 cents worth of overage. So that took off some for that tote. And I only paid two eleven for the tote, dollar thirteen cent for tax. So I paid three twenty four out of pocket. So that's a good deal, I think, because I was gonna have to buy that tote anyway, and I was gonna go to get one from the Dollar General by my house. But I just with the overage, I decided to use things for overage. And you know, I'm going in the stores and I'm looking. I'm saying it's nothing I need. Ain't that wonderful, you guys? Who coupon? That there's nothing you can think of that you need when you go in the store when they got this overage. I'm like, okay, my deodorant stocked up. You know, I would like to stock up my body wash too, you know, but I know another deal coming. I don't need any body wash. I don't need any laundry detergent. I don't need any fabric softener sheets. I don't need any fabric softener. I need no cleaning stuff, no dishwashing liquid. And I remember it was a time when I was always, always, always needing something and trying to pinch pennies and get it and go to the dollar store and get it. You know, and then, you know, somebody had made a comment about they know they wouldn't be a good couponer because um, <laughs> she said that she got six toothbrushes for a dollar from the dollar store. And I remember when I used to do that, but where can you get <laughs> an all B rechargeable toothbrush for free? You know, the best toothbrushes on the market, these things were their regular price, 11 
$11.97, I think, at Walmart when I just scanned it. $11.50, $11.97, somewhere in that area. That toothbrush is. And even with that $7 coupon, paying $3.50 for that electric tube, the rechargeable toothbrush, that's still a good deal to me. But I didn't get any because I already have some. And then, like I told you, I got rain checks. And what did I do with it? Whoops. <laughs> I got some rain checks last night, and I'll probably go back and get some more from um, Target for that toothbrush for five ninety seven. So as long as they get some in, no, what are they? They're they're marked down to five something for those electric toothbrushes. I don't know if it was the rechargeable one or not. I need to go back. I think it did say rechargeable. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't quote me on that, y'all, because I might have picked up the wrong toothbrush. But anyway, that's anyway, that's not even what I'm talking about. Y'all, y'all know we get toothbrushes, toothpaste, we get all this stuff for free. Couponing is worth it. Yes, you know, some people go over the stream like me when I need the rest. It's like last night I was tired, my legs was hurting, they were cramping, but I still was out in the stores last night. You know, sometimes you just get hyped up on these sales and you just need to rest your body, you know. And um, by me working extra at the job because we're down a nurse, so we're having to do her, pick up her clinics and do her patient load. So, um, you know, I'm, my body is tired, but through all this tiredness, it's so worth it, you know. And I was just thinking and thanking God as I was going in Walmart that there is nothing I want, not even down to hair products, shampoo. And I remember when sometimes my bottle of shampoo would get out and I'd put a little water in there and shake it around to get me through till I can get to the store. I, I'm telling you guys, I am just so blessed because I cannot think of one thing I need in my house. And I'm like, what do I need? Because my stockpile is stocked up, you know, and I just thank God for that. I think God can be a blessing through couponing for other people too you know so it's just a blessing it's just it's just a wonderful wonderful blessing to be able to coupon so I'm trying to think of things that I can get but you know if I find some more brush heads I'm going to go on my trip so I'm gonna go look for me like some little shirts summer shirts and stuff because sometimes Target have stuff marked down you know but I'm thinking I'm gonna basically do mine at Target because theirs are cheaper so I'll get a little bit more overage at Target if I can find a bunch at one time we can let know the coupon says do four but I would do separate transactions and hopefully they will let me do the separate transactions you know like that you know I wouldn't bulk them all up together I would try to do separate transactions to comply with the coupon okay and then I saw on um, Sharika Sanders um, video where she had I think she said she ordered them off of eBay though I think it's two dollars off of um any L'Oreal advanced hair care and um she got um the little she was getting overs with the little L'Oreal's and I'm sure it's been on everywhere but i'm just telling you guys because i seen it I'm she was getting overage with the L'Oreal little um trial and travel size because it has no restriction on the coupon i think so i'm gonna try to look for that and she got 61 dollars worth of overs because she did 30 of the small bottles of the shampoo and 30 of the conditioners and she got 61 dollars worth of overage so you know you don't have to go that extreme you know but she got her money back i i'm not gonna try to do that at my walmart i don't feel like fussing with them but you could get different things you wanted just like um the other day i bought me one of those um, blenders, you know, with the little cups. I bought me those so I could be doing my protein shake because I'm trying to get back into this weight loss thing. So I bought that, but I didn't buy it with overage. But I'm thinking if I could have got those, I could have had overage and bought it and nothing out of pocket. So things you need, like if you need a new toaster for your house or placemats or a rug for your floor, different things like that. Couponing with overage can help you do that. So, you know, I'm just thank God for it. So I just want to tell you guys that I got to get in work because I am late. Seven, oops, ten after. Bye, you guys. Bye.